Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection, Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Uh, this is the final screen done. This is our Illuminous Ambulite Rejection Eclipse Cinema. This is my bed sheet fixed frame projection screen. Now, usually, like I said, we give you the uh, blackout cloth for free, but just to show you that you can just paint anything you want. Really funny story, I had somebody come into my Facebook channel, I posted the video there also, and they wanted to go into the thread counts in the sheets by saying that you had to have a certain thread, thread count in order to be able to produce a picture of a sheet. Okay, but anyway, so let me put this, let me get this to understand. The reason why some people are a little skeptical or just say they think there's all these guidelines you got to go in to have a home theater set up no if you have a good quality screen and a projector you can have an amazing picture especially with our technology we make anything look incredible and keep in mind this is the reason the, the point of this demonstration to show you that you can use our screen paint on just about any surface so instead of you going out and spending money for an expensive blackout cloth you can pop right over to walmart and buy yourself a seven dollar five dollar ten dollar bed sheet it doesn't make a difference by the thread count now keep in mind they're going to probably say, well, it has to be white. No, it doesn't have to be white. There's no, uh, you have to worry about uh, um, priming your screen if you don't have to. Keep in mind, the only time I may suggest priming is just you're using a really slick surface like vinyl or maybe a very uh, slick plexiglass. But other than that, the stuff is designed to coat on just about everything. So this is a tan bed sheet right, right here. Everyday tan bed sheet. And as for the rollers, it doesn't make a difference. I buy rollers from Dollar Tree from time to time. So it really doesn't make a difference. Some people want to go in that you have to have a certain kind of roller. It has to be a certain way. No, no, no. When it comes to our technology, we do not fall under the same guidelines as tr tr traditional uh, projection screen paints or projection screens. And keep in mind, our demonstrations are much different. Now keep in mind, we're in a fully lit environment, as always. And this is my screen, stapled down to my wooden frame, my bed sheet, coated with our Illuminous Amulite Rejection. This is the Eclipse Cinema Paint. So I'm gonna pull this away really quick and show you the screen. My projector is sitting back around 10 feet back from the screen. And let's begin the demonstration so I can show you how amazing my $7 bed sheet projection screen is gonna look. Because you have people out there that can't paint on their walls. They rent, they can't paint on the wall. So, and they might have some kind of strange texture to the surface of the wall. They could have some kind of outlets pushing out from the wall for basically uh, audio components and so forth. So this makes it easier because you can just design your screen. And if you don't have blackout cloth, you can go right over to freaking Walmart and buy yourself a bed sheet. And you have some people saying, well, a bed sheet will never give off the same uh, performance as blackout cloth. There you go with the technical crazy nonsense. No, you're seeing it right here. It's my bed sheet projection screen coated with our Eclipse Cinema screen paint. In a fully lit environment. And I've done this demonstration with a high powered LED light attached to the screen. I'll show you the angles. Anywhere I turn in this environment with all this light, that screen is going to pull up. And that's on a bed sheet. And like I said, this is ambient light technology. Grab myself another demonstration really quick. Now look how beautiful the greens are, the red on the ladybug. And keep in mind, my projector is not 4K. It's not even 1080p. It's a 7, I'm doing 1080i on this projector. So I don't have to spend the money for a 4K projector if I don't want one. Like I said, when you watch demonstrations of someone using a 4K projector, 4K projector, 4K projector, 4K projector, and you're seeing the detail and all that come out of the screen, you know, you have to consider the fact, is it the projector doing all the work? And, and some people, when they see videos like that, they're gonna think, oh, I'm gonna have to have a 4K projector in order to get the screen to actually perform that way. Now look at the white levels. And as I said before, when it comes to the black screens, white levels are gonna be a tad low, but not low enough where you're actually going to notice 
Now, if you're curious to see how I painted the screen, please check at the bottom of the comment section. You'll see the video of part one where I actually painted this, uh, the, um, the um, bed sheet. Also, too, you'll get a chance to see another demonstration where I just turned about anything into a projection screen, even styrofoam. We'll take a walk. Now keep in mind in my demonstrations, I'm not, it's rare that I turn the lights out. Usually when you watch demonstrations, the high points of someone's screen paint or projection screen will be with the lights off. That is the only way the screen is going to perform well. You have to be in a dark environment. It's rare in my demonstrations that I turn the lights out. Because who wants to sit in the dark all day? Literally, who wants to literally sit in the dark all day? You're watching movies? All right, all good and well. You want to have that movie theater experience. But for watching TV shows and anything else you might be doing requires you to be in a well-lit environment, do you want to actually really sit in the dark all day because of your screen? Now you notice no fading out around the edges. And I'm going to stick a bar light in the middle of the screen. The same screen I did upstairs, I'm going to stick a bar light right in the middle of it. All right, for my time runs out here, I am Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain Times 2 and 3. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching, showing you how you can turn anything you want into a high-performance black projection screen without priming, without sanding, and without being a pro. Thank you all for your time, and God bless. I'm going to let this play a little bit longer. You know what? I'll take the lights out. Just this one time. You're dying to see it with the lights out. There you go. Where did I do this, but I'll take the lights out. I'm trying to be fair to everybody. Do a little piece of each one. Okay. All right. Thank you all for your time. Put my lights back on because I just don't want to have the lights off. There we go. No change in the picture whatsoever. Thank you all for your time. Again, God bless. The screen paint is available on our website right now with free worldwide shipping. The sale is still going on. Got to go. And again, God bless.